Hey my loves, welcome back to Between Us Tarot. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day so far whenever you come across today's video. And as you can see, we are going to be looking at the weekly energy. So what is it that you can expect this week? And I know this is going up a little bit more late than usual. Um, it's still Sunday for me. It's like 10, 14 right now. So yeah, loves, um, PM on my end. So yeah, you guys, uh, sorry for getting it in a little bit late. It was just a busy day today. My family and I did celebrate Easter. So yeah, loves, um, let me know down below if you guys celebrated. And if you didn't, that's completely fine. Let me know how your weekend was. Okay, loves. And yeah, we're going to get straight into it. So we have three beautiful piles in front of us here today. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. For pile one, we have this angelic clear quartz crystal. Okay, so this is going to be our beautiful pile one. For pile two, um, we have this beautiful fluorite crystal. All right, this one's going to be pile two. Gosh, and then begins the dogs. <laughs> Um, and then pile three is going to be the pink calcite and I can never get its true color on camera. It is a light pink with white swirls. I hope you guys can kind of see it. Oh, kind of. But yeah, loves, this is going to be our beautiful pile three. Um, and I will just give you guys a few seconds to pick your piles. Please feel free to pause the video if you need to. And yeah. All right, love, so if you guys need more time, please pause the video. I'm going to go ahead and start with pile one. Okay, pile one for you guys that chose the angelic clear quartz crystal let's go ahead and see what is it that you can expect this week i'm like where did your tarot go <laughs> um all right so we have the knight of pentacles the king of cups the chariot in the reverse and then we have death interesting stuff pile one we have happiness this is so beautiful hope which is the star and tarot nurture and we have valiant courage okay all right what the heck is going on here pile one i'm already liking the energy that i see here give me one second to fix the camera as always my pile one you guys are always so awesome um for having the patience for me to do that um and just fixing my background right now <laughs> okay just give me a second to look at this Okay, pile one, this is so beautiful. Like, what's going on this week? Um, you guys are amazing. So, what I'm seeing, pile one, mainly is that I do feel like at, at this time, okay, with whatever is going on in your life, it could be that things are moving a little bit slow, okay, or even stagnant, all right? Um... But what I'm seeing, pile one, is that things are changing behind the scenes. And I don't know why I am getting that a lot of this is happening behind the scenes. Maybe for some of you guys, you guys could be seeing certain things change um, in the 3D, okay? Like small things, but I'm seeing that a lot of big things are changing that you're not aware of, okay? But this is all like moving towards your happiness and I feel like this week what's mainly going on is you're being I don't know I'm seeing that you guys are like you're being restored with your like with hope okay so if some of you guys have been maybe losing faith or losing hope or something like that this week that is being restored as well as happiness like 
it's so beautiful i'm also seeing that a lot of you guys are gonna be very like in your emotions this week but in a beautiful way like I i'm getting that you guys are gonna be happy like thankful nurturing yourselves okay a lot as well yeah you guys i'm also seeing yeah i keep getting that message for you guys pile one if there was some sort of situation that was kind of <clears throat> moving slowly okay um or like it has been this could be work this could be love related this could be anything in your life this could even be like within yourself okay somehow like if you've just been going through a hard time and you feel like you've been not that motivated, like there's so many things that I'm seeing here. Please take it as it resonates, pile one. But what I'm seeing is that <clears throat> this is changing. Like we have death here. It says endings and new beginnings. So I'm seeing like an ending to a period or like a cycle of stagnation. And there, I'm actually not seeing a specific area here. <clears throat> Again, loves, these are general readings, so yeah it's gonna resonate differently for all of you guys but i am seeing that things are going to start picking back up however i'm seeing that um it's picking up it's picking back up like this momentum and energy it's picking up back up starting within yourself if that makes sense so um, like this upcoming week you're gonna start seeing like your faith being restored your happiness being restored you nurturing yourself and from this week here on out it, like little by little you're gonna see progress is what I'm seeing because at this time I'm still seeing that it's a little bit um it's still a little bit slow but this is ending like spirit is wanting to let you know that this week like this is when a new beginning starts okay some of you guys may not even realize it because you're so within yourself but that, this is where this is how it's starting up again this new cycle this new beginning i don't even want to call, call it a cycle this new beginning is starting within yourself and it's just going to progress from here pile one um i do see that some of you guys are taking like a more practical stance towards the things that you love so um this could be like things that interest you so it could be like things that you deal with at work um your friends your family um love even okay like in the love department but yeah you're taking like a more practical plan and this is helping you like this is going to produce results pile one okay um this is beautiful. Let's go ahead and look at the rest of the energy because now I'm curious. <laughs> so we have the underlying energy, four of wands. Crowning energy is eight of pentacles. Mm, okay, three of swords. And bottom of your deck is the page of wands with the emperor right underneath. Okay, yeah, this is awesome. Give me one second. Oh my gosh yeah you guys okay so i'm actually getting all different areas like and i do think that maybe a lot of people are picking pile one because i'm, I'm getting that this can really resonate like i'm seeing different areas of life here within this reading so i'm seeing love i'm seeing work i'm seeing like personal lives like so yeah pile one um this is amazing but i am seeing that for a lot of you guys with the eight of pentacles as your crowning energy energy it says work and learning a skill you guys are working on yourselves you guys are working in areas of your life that will improve you okay you specifically um because we even have the nurturing card here and it says nurturing your inner child supplies you with the innocent joy of living um it's almost like i don't know you guys are connecting back to yourselves pile one in a way okay you guys are nurturing yourselves you guys are also doing things that you love this week i keep getting that so it could be that some of you guys do something that made your that made you happy as a kid okay that could be something as simple i think i said this before in a different reading last week like this kind of message came up you guys could be watching a childhood movie that makes you happier doing something like that made you happy as a kid you're connecting with your inner child um, and this is like, this is healing you because with the three of swords here, pile one, I am seeing that you guys, um, 
this isn't i am seeing this as an underlying energy like you guys could be hurt somewhere deep inside all right but you are healing that that's like another thing that's ending um and this is like this is healing your creative aspects pile one because your overall energy is the page of wands so it says new ideas and creativity like because this cycle is ending of stagnation and going slow and like not moving forward you are coming and you're healing you are coming up now with new ideas um a new approach maybe even of how to tackle things uh you're being creative for a lot of you guys you guys are getting motivated again <clears throat> <clears throat> seeing something that you can create for a lot of you guys i'm also getting like what's coming up next because most of the time with these type of readings what i see with the underlying energy is what's coming up next um at times and i'm seeing union for some of you guys four of wands we have celebration and stability union i am seeing two people here but it could even be like any type of celebration pile one if you've been working towards a goal because i do see some people here working towards maybe their finances their work um, maybe in the love department whatever it is pile one there is celebration coming up later okay it's just it's starting within you this week stability coming in balance like it's not gonna be how it was before this cycle is finally ending pile one this is beautiful stuff and i do believe like we have the emperor right underneath set rules and authority yeah you guys are being the emperor okay you guys are like i'm seeing that the cycle is ending of stagnation because you guys have been setting rules you guys have taken charge of your life and said you know what i'm gonna work on this in this area of my life or i want to work on myself or i want to work on my inner child healing um whatever it is pile one i want to work on my finances whatever it is like you you guys are taking like a step by step i am seeing that some of you guys have decided to do that it's not like you're doing it all in one go okay um you guys are being practical you guys know that it might be a little bit slow in the beginning, but after a while, it is going to get faster, pile one. And I'm seeing that that is definitely what's happening. Um, yeah, some of you guys... Yeah, that's exactly what I'm seeing, pile one. This is so beautiful. For some of you guys, I'm getting that... Uh, yeah pile one i'm even getting that for some of you guys if this there is like a message between two people here okay so for those of you guys that are resonating with this message due to love if there has been someone that's been um a little bit slow or something that is also ending okay and i am seeing it's gonna cause a lot of healing between the both of you it's always your choice pile one okay um to do whatever you want to do with that situation between you and this person, okay? This could be a friendship. This could be um, a love interest. For a lot of you guys, I do see the love in a, a love interest with the King of Cups here. This is someone that loves you, Pile One. Yeah, and I am seeing that they are thinking of ways to contact you. They are thinking of ways of maybe even what to say to you, okay? Even if you have been in contact with this person, it could be that they're wanting to open up a little bit more okay and they're thinking of ways on how to say that but again this is leading to some type of union here between you guys so that is another message that i'm getting here pile one but nonetheless however this resonates this is beautiful stagnation is ending this week okay also like don't expect for things to be like super duper fast after this week no it's still like a process but i'm seeing that things are getting unstuck with the chariot in the reverse like i and like the endings and new beginnings i am seeing that again if things maybe were seeming even a little bit boring or something like that things are getting unstuck there's there's still some healing happening in the background but nonetheless this is restoring your hope it's because you're going to start seeing things happen again um we have happiness joy of life and this is so interesting because like you have nurture and happiness here this is also the number 14 which adds up to a five and that's all about change and the nurture card says i think i read it already <laughs> nurturing your inner child supplies you with an innocent joy of living so you have joy in two different cards you guys are 
you guys are happy this week, you guys. And I feel like it's because you do sense this, like, the stability coming through. Um, a lot of you guys are focusing on yourselves this week as well, and this is what's helping things move forward even more. A lot of you guys may, may get, like I said, um, new creative ideas. A lot of you guys may want to work on these ideas, okay? Whatever it is that you want to execute. This is so beautiful, you guys. Um, the stars. So yeah, loves, I'm also seeing that if some of you guys have some sort of wish fulfillment, you guys are restoring your own hope when it comes to this wish. And this is like, this is what affects your intentions as well, pile one. This is beautiful. You guys know that you can create what it is that you want. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> so it says, Valiant Courage, uh, courage take action with passion. Ooh, yeah. And I, that's exactly what I'm seeing. For some of you guys, I am getting that someone. Like, because the Knight of Pentacles, oh my god, we have three three different beings on a horse. We have it in this card, we have it in the Knight of Pentacles, and we also have it in the Death card. So yeah, pile three. This could be you. For others of you guys, I am, I'm also seeing that this could be someone else, okay? Um, if you are resonating with that message there. But yeah, loves, I am seeing that action is being taken. That's why, again, things are moving, right? Um, there is going to be an ending to all this stagnation, all this slowness. And I don't know, with the Eight of Pentacles as the crowning energy, I'm seeing that the universe is letting you know things are being worked at, okay? Maybe up until now you haven't seen much movement, but things are being worked at. And it starts with you, Pile One. And it is because you have decided to do this, to work on yourself, to nurture yourself, <clears throat> to bring back hope, okay, in your own situation, all right, despite the things that you have seen, despite that things have been slow. This is beautiful stuff, Pile One. Congratulations. I don't know why I feel like saying congratulations. Um, I am going to pick you guys an advice card. And today, I think I'm going to do... Um, let's do two advice cards and let's do it from two different decks. So I'm going to use the magic of the unicorns here. I always list the decks down below. So what can Pile 1 expect this week? Or, no. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not the question. Um, what is some advice for my Pile 1 this week? Thank you. Okay, and we have Divine Potential, number 35, which adds up to an 8. Which is funny, because Hope, it's a 17 card, also adds up to an 8. Eight is all about infinite love, infinite connections. It says, fulfill your destiny. Be all you can be. Yeah, this it's about you, Pile One. You know how I kept saying, like, it starts with you. You are fulfilling your destiny. You are going towards that. Like, again, Pile One, when I'm saying that your hope is being restored, it's because you are seeing the potential in your life, within yourself, within your relationships, within you and work, whatever it is, Pile One. Um, amazing. I want to pull out another one. Give me one second. If I can get it out of its sack. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, got it. Can we get an advice card for my pile one? For the week, please. So, yeah, love. See the potential within yourselves. You guys got this. Yeah, I don't sense that it's been easy because stagnation is never easy. Things going slow, never easy. But, um, you know, I was talking to someone from my soul tribe the other day. Um, actually, I was talking to Shayna. If you guys watch Shayna from Cafe Tarot by Shayna, she's so amazing. And she was telling me, like, you know, stagnation always serves a purpose. And I completely agree. But it's so true. Stagnation always serves a purpose, Pile One. Um, when things are slow, it's for a reason. If things aren't moving, again, for a reason. Let's see. Pile One. Uh, can I get, please, a card from Pile One? <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> I love it. I love this. Okay, you guys got spider spirit. Make your dreams real. Yeah, 
that's what's happening loves is you guys are like i said with this potential you guys are making your dreams real you guys are seeing the potential even in your dreams like hope is being restored that faith is being restored pile one um six plus five is also a number 11 which is a master number you guys so yeah loves it's funny bottom of the deck is life is a mystery which is another number eight <laughs> Um, so yeah, you guys, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. I hope you guys have a beautiful week ahead. It does look like it. So yeah, loves, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, pile two for you guys that chose the fluorite. Let's go ahead and see what is it that you can expect this week. So we have the nine of wands. We have the king of swords. The ace of pentacles. All right. And we have the king of pentacles. Beautiful stuff. Okay. We have aura, we have opportunity, moving on and great, great adventure. Okay, and let me get the bottom of your deck here. And just give me a second, loves, to look. Oh no, I didn't mean to move my background. <laughs> give me one second, okay. Got some technical difficulties, but we're okay. <laughs> And I'm so sorry about the dog, you guys. But just give me a second to look at this. <clears throat> okay, pile two. So what is, I hope I called you guys pile two. What is it that you can expect this week? Up until this point, pile two, I'm seeing that like up until this week, okay? I am seeing that you guys, um, you guys are persevering, okay? Like I do feel like whoever picked this pile, you guys have been going through some obstacles and it has not been easy because your first card out was the nine of wands. This man is tired, right? He's tired. So pile one or pile two, um, this is amazing, though, because, like, the rest of your reading, I can already see it's very, very, very positive. But what I'm seeing, Pile 2, is that you guys are gaining um, clarity. I'm even seeing that you guys are, like, there is a lot of growth in your pile, okay? Like, this week, I'm seeing growth, Um You guys are getting clearer, okay, when it comes to, if there has been a decision that you've had to make, Pile 2, I am seeing you guys get clearer this week about that decision, okay? Yeah, Pile 2, this is amazing. I'm so sorry, loves. I'm so sorry, loves. I had to like pause the video for a little bit because my dog was going crazy. But um, I am seeing, loves, that like you guys are getting clearer this week, okay? Especially if you guys have kind of like been feeling like you're not sure about something or you're not sure about um, specific things in your life, like you are gaining clarity, okay? And this is going to help you move forward. I see a lot of forward movement because we see moving, moving on. And this person here, okay, he's moving towards the light, right? We see him coming out of darkness, darkness and moving towards the light. This is the six of swords in tarot. It's all about healing, you guys. You guys are moving forward. It's funny because your oracle card even says, great adventure, take a risk, venture forward. And that's exactly what's happening, pile two, is that you guys are moving forward. This is amazing. Um, I'm seeing that this opportunity is being given to you 
by like the divine themselves okay because we do have the ace of pentacles here yeah yeah i'm seeing someone take the lead here and i'm seeing that that is you pile two i'm, I'm even seeing that you are going towards energy of like the king of pentacles all right this is someone who attracts stability um loyalty um even like <laughs> i hope you don't hear my dog cry in the background but this is someone that even like attracts financial stability as well just abundance in general pile too you are doing that okay and it's because like i don't know i'm just seeing growth I am curious to see the rest of your energy, but I am seeing growth. We even have opportunity here. It says expand your horizons. Yeah, so maybe some of you guys could have been like, you know, prior to this week, maybe. You guys could have been feeling like stuck, okay? Maybe you guys could, like couldn't see that you guys could maybe even reach your dreams or something because i am seeing an eagle in the background here and this eagle is a part of this man um and eagles you know they can see like they don't keep their eyes off the prize like they can see their prey from miles and miles away when they're up in the air so you guys are acting in that case and it's actually really funny because with the king of swords we also have another bird there in that card so we have like two different cards with a man and birds okay i'm even seeing that maybe some of you guys could come across a white feather this week some of you guys that will be a sign from the universe um but you guys are being like you guys are open to the opportunity these opportunities for growth pile two and you guys are seeing that this week i'm seeing even that if you guys have a specific wish fulfillment or something like that like you guys are not letting go of that you guys are i don't know i'm getting yeah some of you guys are like you guys know what it is that you want okay and you're like i'm gonna go get it that's the energy that I'm seeing is I'm going to go for what it is that I want. It's it's very beautiful. And this is the risk that you're taking is to believing in that, right? You're moving on from the darkness into light. There's so much growth here, Pile 2. Like, it's amazing. Underlying energy is the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are working your butts off. Page of Wands as you're crowning. Mm, Knight of Cups. I like that. <laughs> it's cute. And then we also have, you guys are very passionate people. I love that. And then we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, yeah, that's so funny. We were talking about a wish fulfillment. That is your overall energy here with the Five of Wands as your underlying. Interesting. Give me a second. Yeah okay yeah pile two it's like yeah you are pile two you are like beginning to work on the things that you want okay the things that you want to build that's not to say that you guys weren't working on it before okay but it's like i don't know i'm just seeing a completely different energy um here like someone that is very determined okay i see someone that's determined in this three of pentacles like that is what you're moving towards at this time is your own stability your own growth okay like towards things that you're dedicated to towards things that you want to make a work and you're doing it you're building a strong a stronger structure for yourself pile two and this is going to take you further into like other things that you want to accomplish so i have to say pile two i can clearly see that what you guys have been through has not been easy but please keep going please because you guys are headed towards your wish fulfillment okay that's that's the message here pile two like you guys are moving towards your dreams coming true okay that's what the nine of cups is all about and i do see you guys being very 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 happy um yeah with the knight of cups like i'm also seeing that this week you are moving towards things that you love okay um things that interest you <laughs> this is so beautiful things that you're passionate about all right yeah i am seeing a little bit of an underlying energy here with the five of wands so it's not too big but it's still there 
<clears throat> with the five of wands, I am seeing that you could be like this week, okay? Although there is growth, there is like you guys are expanding your horizons. You're moving on from negative to light, okay? I'm still seeing that what's affecting you is yourself. Um, I'm seeing that some of you guys could have like could be having thoughts come through that are kind of negative. It's almost kind of like you guys could be at war with yourselves a little bit like no, you can't make that happen. That's never going to come true. Blah, blah, blah. All these things like, but you guys are fighting it, but I'm just, yeah, it's kind of like a warning. Okay. Sometimes we will have warnings come out in readings. I am seeing this as a warning for this week pile too, that it's okay. I do see that at times you are going to be having these thoughts and like, I'm even seeing this as obstacles. It doesn't have to be thoughts for some of you guys. For some of you guys, it will be like, 3D obstacles that you have to go through, okay? This could be in any area of your life, but you guys are fighting it, okay? You guys will fight it um, because you want this wish fulfillment. You want what it is that you want. You want to accomplish your goals and you're moving towards that. Nothing can stop you, pile two. Honestly, nothing can stop you but yourself, right? That's the only thing. Um, yeah. This is so beautiful. We even have the page of wands as your crowning energy. And like, <laughs> I love this because he's smirking. Okay. So I'm getting that. Um, like there's this energy to you where it's almost like you're getting back up. If you guys do feel like you, maybe you've fallen off um, the wagon. Okay. You guys have fallen off a little bit and you feel like you know, what am I doing? Like, am I doing enough? Or am, you know, am I like growing? Am I going anywhere? Am I going to ever get my wish fulfillment? Like you're getting back on top this week. Okay. <clears throat> Cause it's funny. We have this like as the first card out, but the rest of them are just a bunch of growth. So I'm seeing that like, yeah, maybe the first few days or the beginning of the week, or even prior to this, you were feeling like a little bit like, oh, like, I don't know if I can keep going. I really don't know if I if I can keep going but by the end of the week you do have this energy I'm almost seeing like this this inner child within you guys pick you back up and saying you know what we have to keep going we have to get back up like there's no way that we're gonna let you know little obstacles get in the way whether this is yourself or actually again like actual 3d obstacles okay pile two but this is beautiful. I love your guys' energy, by the way. Like, this is awesome. For you guys to be picking yourselves back up like this is inspiring. We even have aura, and it says, I, a healthy aura keeps your energy in balance and harmony. So, yeah, loves, you guys are even having, like, maybe, like, some type of healing due to your, with your aura, okay? Um, you guys are going to be feeling more balanced and more harmonious, all right? This is beautiful. So I will say, loves, that just be careful with people that you surround yourselves with. Because with the five of wands as well, like, um, like you have to put you first, okay? Like, that doesn't mean that you can't hang out with people and friends and you can't care about them. No, it doesn't mean that. You guys can definitely still do that. Uh, still give love, you know, with the Knight of Pentacles, you guys can still do all that. But ultimately, you need to pay attention to how you're feeling in specific surroundings. So if there is a person that maybe drains you or a person that, um, or, or a situation, it doesn't even have to be a person, okay? If there is something in your life that drains you or makes you like not feel good or even negative, okay, then that is a note to self, okay, to do something about it. Um, maybe either spend less time in that situation if you can, all right? Um, everyone's, everyone is going through different things, pile two, so please take it as it resonates. Um, or maybe putting your energy in other things, okay, that do uplift you, that do make you feel good, etc., etc. But yeah, loves, this week, like, you are moving forward. I just see forward movement for you guys. You guys are moving forward um, towards the things that you want, okay, towards your, like, towards growth, you guys are, like, regardless of your gender, you guys are moving towards king of pentacles energy, and you guys are going to be feeling like that this week, you guys are being true to yourselves, all right, and this is, this is getting you your wish fulfillment pile too, 
um, you guys are moving towards that. And I just, I love it. You guys are seeing the opportunities that you guys have. I'm seeing for a lot of you guys, it could be more than one opportunity that comes your way later on in the future. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and this is because you guys are opening your eyes. You guys are seeing the potential within yourselves, the growth that you guys have. You guys are working hard. Um, you guys are grow going at it pile two. So yeah, amazing. Like pile one was amazing. This pile is amazing. What else? <laughs> yes, I'm so happy. I am just looking for the okay, yeah. Your advice card for the week, pile two. Keep going. I just feel like telling you guys that is please keep going. A lot of you guys are moving towards like material success as well, okay, and financial success. I feel like you guys, your aura is attracting this. Um, but for others of you guys, I'm just seeing abundance in general. So this is in all areas of your life, all right? Beautiful stuff. Can I have an advice card for my pile two for this week? For pile two? For this week, pile two. Advice. Advice. Thank you. We have look for the signs number 11. This is a master number. We have a little uh, baseball with the number 33. So the number 33 could also be significant to you, pile two. But um, it says look for the signs, pay attention, expect an answer. So yeah, some of you guys have been maybe wanting some clarity with this king of swords here. Okay. Um and I am seeing that you guys will be receiving signs on that. Okay, pile two. So, you know, on, I know it says um, pay attention. But yeah, loves, when you, like, when you receive a sign, oftentimes it's when you're not paying attention. Like, <laughs> when you're not looking for it, I guess I should say. But you guys will know when there's a sign from the universe. Um so yeah, pile two. And I want to pick out another card from a different deck. I did the same thing for pile one. I want two different advice cards this week. So can I have another advice card for my pile two, please? Please. Pile two. No, too many. Way too many. Can I just have one? One advice card. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, I love this. <laughs> so we have the number 21 adds up to a three. Dove spirit, be peace. Wow. Yeah, and we have two different things that are flying here as well. So we have another dove in this card as well. You have birds all throughout your reading, but um so be at peace pile too like i am seeing like you will be at peace especially with your aura and i do see maybe for some of you guys your aura could be very sensitive this week all right so again just be careful with what situations you put yourself in what type of people you surround yourself with all right and um yeah loves just be at peace because i mean the divine is with you guys they are watching over you guys okay they are helping you move forward no it hasn't been easy there has been a lot of obstacles there's still some there okay but again this is an underlying energy this is not something that um nothing can stop you pile two keep going you guys are amazing um you guys are moving towards the light and there is peace coming your way okay loves so i think i'm gonna leave it at that i'm gonna go ahead and move on to pile three and i will see you guys next week bye Okay, pile three for you guys that chose the pink calce. Let's go ahead and see what is going on this week for you guys. What is it that you guys can expect? We have the seven of cups, the nine of cups, the hierophant, and we have the page of wands. 
stepping into power. Wow. Vitality. Self-love. And balance. This is so beautiful. Okay, let me get the bottom of your deck here. And just give me a quick second to look at this energy pile two. Or pile three. Pile three. <laughs> Okay, pile three. This is amazing. Another, oh my god, all three piles this week. What the heck is going on? I don't know if it was this full moon, but like just the most beautiful stuff coming through. So, pile three, I am getting that. Um, Some of you guys could kind of be overwhelmed when it comes to what it is that you want to create, what it is that you want to come together, okay? Like, if you guys have had a dream that you want to see plan out or like a goal that you want to achieve or like some sort of wish fulfillment, to be honest, and this could be more than one thing, all right? I'm seeing that you guys could like just be overwhelmed with thinking about it or thinking like how it's going to happen. Is it even going to happen? This and that. Okay. But, um, I'm actually seeing that that over, oh, that overwhelming and like feeling, okay, is not going to be there for long because what I'm seeing, um, in your pile is that the divine is very much there, very strongly. Like I'm seeing the hierophant here, like, he has his hands crossed, he's sitting, he is one with the tree, right? And it's almost like he's just saying, like, everything is planned already, like, chill. <laughs> because, like, even I'm laughing because, like, looking at, at this, at this, um, being, right, that's rooted to the tree, is not worried. He's not worried, Pile 3. And, like, it's almost like I'm getting that you shouldn't be either. I'm actually getting that you're, you're, if you guys have been worried, like, this is a confirmation or a message for you to, like, lighten up a little bit. Maybe you guys have been a little bit tense or a little bit worried or just, I don't know what it is, Pile 3. But, um, like, this wish fulfillment, there is a specific wish fulfillment, Pile 3, that you're thinking about this week, and it is, like, it is being granted, and, yeah, wow, I usually, like, the type of messages that come out aren't usually like this, Pile 3, but, um, yeah, it's like, spirit, for some reason, is coming through in your pile, saying not to worry, like, things are already planned like things are all in the 5d like things have already been planned as to how things are going to plan out for you okay um yeah pile three and i do feel like this is a special wish fulfillment okay like a rare one Yeah, this is beautiful. Okay. I'm even getting pile three with the um with the page of wands here. That like like we see a child here too, right? Making magic. So I am seeing that like this week you guys could be connecting to your inner child, alright? Um and I am seeing that this is gonna be very healing for you pile three i'm also seeing that like the divine wants you to do this i keep getting that they want you to feel like this connecting to your inner child um and feeling like that you can make things come true almost like manifesting okay yeah i'm seeing that if you guys have been wanting or i don't know this week you guys could just be feeling very creative or wanting to work on your creative projects okay maybe some of you guys are getting more ideas um we have the three of wands as your underlying energy we have the knight of swords 
as your crowning yeah okay yeah some of you guys are worried this week five of pentacles The Ten of Wands and Justice right underneath. Oh my gosh, you have Justice twice, because I do like to look at this card. This is also Justice, you guys. You have Justice showing up twice. Yeah, very clear message, Pile 3. Like, the Divine is letting you know you are going to get your due. You are going to get this wish fulfillment. Like, I, I'm, <laughs> I just don't even know how to talk right now, because, like, um, you guys know, Pile 3, that I don't like to give like readings that are so like airy fairy or anything like that but you're a pile like I can't help to say what I see and I am seeing that the divine is saying look there is some sort of wish that you've been wanting that is going to be granted that is coming your way like it's being produced as we speak like it's being worked on as we speak okay the timing to this we don't know all right but it is being worked on and like i don't know i just keep getting that this week they're they're putting you in a phase of connecting with your inner child and again maybe your creative aspects or creative ideas that you get i am getting that this week it's not going to be easy though now pulling out the rest of the energy um it's it's gonna be it's still gonna be hard like i'm seeing that some days you guys are going to be feeling really strong and like yes i can do this and then other days I'm seeing you feel pretty low. Um, or it could be in one day that you fluctuate through these emotions, all right? And that's what makes you feel overwhelmed. Because, like, we do have the Ten of Wands here. So I am getting that this week you might feel like, um, like it, that it's just heavy, okay? Like, for, yeah, for some of you guys this week, you'll just feel like, it's a little bit heavy, like you don't know what to do, okay, like you don't know if you can, like some of this might just feel like it's a lot to handle, okay, like what you're going through. I'm even seeing with the, um, with the Knight of Swords here that you guys are like, you guys just could be thinking a lot, all right, um, feeling like you need to protect yourselves, feeling like you're on guard or something like that okay but um yeah pile three but for some reason they're i'm like okay i know this is not the topic like messages from spirit this is the message or this is the topic of what you can expect this week but pile three for some reason i am getting that yours is kind of turning into like a message from spirit for some reason which doesn't happen often but here we even have the five of pentacles so i do feel see like you guys this week could even be feeling a little bit lonely at times and this is what gets heavy like i'm seeing specifically that what makes you feel heavy and like burdened okay at times is you feel lonely you don't feel like you have maybe anyone on your side or anyone helping you or something like that okay but pile three please you are a child of the divine they look at you like this they look at you as their baby they want and that's why they're coming through saying that your wish fulfillment is being worked on okay this week they want you to relax it's very 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 clear pile three they want you to balance yourself out okay so do pile three yeah i am going to pull advice for you guys at the end but do what you can to balance yourself out whether that's maybe taking a bath or reading a book or watching tv whatever it is uh, maybe like working on some of your hobbies or if you have if you have um any creative projects that you've been thinking to work on work on those this week because i am seeing that this will help like this will help balance you yes you'll have moments of feeling alone like being lonely this week yes you'll have moments where you're thinking about this wish too much this week as well or just feeling a little bit heavy um but but doing things that make you happy and doing things that interest you all right or just connecting with your inner child even i'm seeing is going to help you a lot this week pile three so please do things that help you um that help you do that okay um, your underlying energy is even the three of wands. So yeah, there is something special about your future pile three, okay? Like I'm seeing these candles as like wishes and your intentions, okay? And you have pure intentions. Like when it comes to your intentions, I feel like your intentions are that of a child, like innocent. 
They are innocent intentions. They are pure, right? Pile three, this is beautiful. Like, you guys are amazing. Please keep going. I'm even seeing here with the stepping into your power, you are strong beyond measure. And again, I'm getting this as like a message from the divine to remind you, like you are strong beyond belief, pile three, honestly. You are so strong. You can conquer these, you know, whatever these obstacles are, whatever it is that you're going through, okay? I'm even seeing that some of you guys are leaders, okay? Some of you guys that are watching this pile could be leaders yourselves. You guys are the ones that guide others, right? Because we have two other people here in the background, and I'm sure there's more, but this guy is leading with the light on. So, yeah, pile three, please keep going. You are so strong, okay? You're a leader. Like, you're an inspiration, pile three, honestly. Even with this vitality, like, I just love this girl's face, too. And this star is holding her up, right? Like, there's so much hope within you as well. And it says, vitality is the beaming force that gives energy and vigor to life. Yeah. <laughs> so... You guys are Vitality Pile 3. This is so nice. Yeah, you guys are a force. It's just that at times you guys don't feel like that. Because we have Stepping Into Your Power and then we have Vitality, right? Like, how beautiful is that? You guys are a very strong force. Like, no doubt. Of, like, now I can see why your manifestations are coming true. It's because you guys are this powerful force that makes it happen. And the Divine is right there with you. They want your wish fulfillment as well, Pile 3 okay um so yeah you guys are stepping back into your power as well i'm seeing this maybe by the end of the week okay but <clears throat> it's just here and there there's a little bit of hiccups because you feel low you feel lonely and it's very normal pile three but like i said the message from the divine is look balance yourself out when you start to feel like that and remind yourself of the power remind yourself of um of how far you've come is also what i'm seeing from where you started that's also going to make you realize like wow i've come a long way you know um yeah with the self-love it says love yourself i'm also oh, i love this so much bio three yeah i am seeing again that you guys are like paying attention to yourselves as well okay doing things that nurture you like you again whatever it is that nurtures you bio three whatever it is that um, makes you feel good okay like i'm just seeing that you guys are doing things that make you feel good make you feel relaxed make you feel powerful maybe some of you guys <clears throat> that'll be different for all of you guys maybe some of you guys want to buy i don't know a cute outfit to make you feel good or eat something delicious that you don't eat all the time to make you feel good okay maybe do your makeup your hair whatever it is pile three doesn't matter regardless of your gender, you are giving yourself self-love, okay? Because, um, yeah, when you start to feel this low energy, like, it is important for you to do something to make you feel good, pile three, right? This is beautiful. But this is what I'm seeing for your week, loves. And, like, this beautiful message from Spirit. You guys, you guys got, like, two in one. <laughs> um, so let me go ahead and get you guys... A, a an advice card pile three can i get an advice card for my pile three thank you so we have ascension lift the number 39 uh prepare for rapid spiritual growth be ready for opportunities oh my goodness yeah it's funny because in this card we have like so many different like animals flying in the air we have a lot of different animals here too, um, as well as in your Seven of Cups, which I find very interesting. I feel like just a lot of things are happening for you, Pile 3. Um, yeah, you guys could be going through like another deep ascension and this is getting you closer, okay, to your wish fulfillment. But be ready for rapid things, like more and more opportunities to come your way. Like I'm seeing... Yeah, with this rainbow here, pile three, like, I am seeing, like, something beautiful happen, or many things happen, miracles happen, okay? But, yeah, you guys are being ascended. <laughs> um, there's more opportunities, pile three, that you can, 
like not even imagine that's why you have justice here twice it's like you guys are getting your due but not just that it's like it's more than that let's get you guys another one i wanted to pull out two advice cards so another advice card for my pile three can i just have one please for this week pile three thank you I can't, I, when this happens, like, I can't believe it. You guys have the 39 twice. So the number 39 could be important. Um, okay. Nine again, nine plus three does add up to a 12 and 12 is the number three. <laughs> again, all about co-creation. You guys, did you guys have another? No. And it's funny because the number 30 is also a number three. That's interesting. And your pile three, <laughs> a lot of threes. Um, this is surrender now moth spirit so yeah loves it's almost like they really don't want you to worry they're like just surrender the situation do things that make you feel good do things that make you feel in your power okay because you guys are a force okay make makes do things that make you feel um in, like yeah powerful powerful um that uplifts your energy okay pile three and just surrender your situation because I see beautiful opportunities coming your way. So yeah, loves, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!